the lab's vision is on what we call the heads of computing. It's an interaction paradigm that focuses on living instead of interacting with devices. And it adopts what we call the human-centric design. So the device fits the human's needs, human's design. Instead of the traditional approach where you put input and output all in one piece of device, a human has to change their posture and change their way of interaction to cater to the device. With this new head of computing design, human now can engage in a variety of activities and still receive seamless help from devices. A lot of our natural activities that we want to engage in, such as running, cooking, socializing with friends, also requires our visual and manual movement. This causes a conflict. But with heads of computing, we try to utilize voice, subtle gestures as a means to interact. And with the distributed design, we can allow people to actually interact with computers, receiving information without disrupting their current activities. And we call this a synergistic interaction. Existing interaction paradigms mostly are reactive in nature. What it means is that they only respond to humans' requests. But we want the future interaction paradigm to be more proactive so that it can anticipate the humans' needs and provide just-in-time help without too much human involvement. This naturally facilitates a balanced, healthy living. Uh, we wanted to change the interaction paradigms in a sense to utilize more of our body and to uh, maximize the human potential. This can be done through the replacing um, the traditional hand interaction and, uh, with the gesture interactions. Um, so I think the vision of the lab is more uh, to facilitate on-the-go interaction. So that's where iData comes in. And as the name suggests, it's, it's a text editor, iData. 
in front of your eyes in the near near eye display. So we implemented the near eye display with uh, see-through smart glasses, which is Fusix Blade, and how you can edit the text on the text editor. Uh, on the smart glasses is by using your voice and there's also a secondary form of input which is this wearable ring mouse and with this you can do any selection or navigation tasks to aid your voice based correction on the smart glasses. I joined the NUS ATI lab because I heard about the lab from past members and they were truly the testament to how great the lab is. The level of interaction you get from the PI, Shen, which is incredible. And I don't think other places, other labs you visit, you'll get the same level of interaction that you get here at the lab. Also, how you get treated as an individual and the respect you get for being an independent thinker is, I think, something I wish other places would also have. And that truly drew, drew me to coming here and working at the NUCCA lab. It was here at NUS HCI lab that I could really resonate with the lab's vision of uh, achieving seamless integration of technology you know, in a manner that really does not affect our daily routines. I really found that to be interesting. And how they went about achieving this, um, the, the rigorous methodologies they used, that was a lot of learning opportunities for me and I was really interested. Also when I uh, joined here, the the, I felt like an instant connection with the lab's group and its members and uh, the diversity over here has led to a lot of constructive opinions which I've gotten and it has really helped me grow as a researcher and as a person. The reason I joined the USHC lab is because it's interesting. Other labs in SOC, they focus on the computer, but we are trying to build the bridge between human and computer. So we not only focus on the hardcore coding skill, we also focus on the soft skills like communication and collaboration. I received the comprehensive personal growth in this lab. I learned how to conduct research. I also learned how to interact with people. What's more, our lab has a very good culture of being open and honest. You can always get spotted from other lab members. That's why I like this lab.